Okay, next radio we're going to look at here is uh, the Marine Corps TBX. This is a TBX-6, uh, Navy contract made for the Marine Corps for World War II. There was about eight different versions of this. Uh, TBX-1 to 7 were all pretty much similar. The TBX-8, the last one, was a slight uh, design change. But this one here is a TBX-6. The TBX combination transmitter receiver uh, transmits in the range of uh, 2 meg to about uh, 4 and a half meg. Uh, the receiver goes from 2 meg up to 8. It um, has two crystal positions and a master oscillator. Uh, does about uh, 15 or so watts CW and 6, 7 watts AM. That's a bit higher than uh, rated, but most of them I see or talk to people that uh, seem to be a little more out. Basic features of here are the interest, one of the interesting things it doesn't use push to talk. It uses a uh, send receive switch. You actually just have, you have to flip that to send and flip it back. Uh, this is the uh, crystal selector or the self exciting selector here. You can use the master oscillator. This is your tuning for your transmitter. Uh, CW and voice selection, uh, tuning for the antenna, the power amplifier tuning cap, and different coil taps to tune the transmitter, microphone input, key input, uh, a couple things. This one's been modified with somebody put a PL259 on. Uh, fine for me now, uh, it's, it's easier. That's the only modification to this. You'll also notice I have a homebrew. Uh, plug in here. I just haven't got around to tracking down the plugs for this and wanted to get the thing running. So I, I made that myself just to get it going. Receiver, CW AM switch. Here's your tuning for your receiver. Uh, this is the switch to net the transmitter to the receiver. Uh, inter another interesting thing doesn't use a volume control, uses sensitivity control. Uh, this is the, they call this a wobbler. This is basically your BFO adjustment. Uh, and uh, you can also do adjust the filament voltage if you're running this off batteries. Uh, this will run off a hand crank generator, battery, or a series of uh, dyna motors. And uh, this is your uh, um, audio output here. I'm going to be running this off a uh, set of dyna motors, and I will uh, guess we'll show you that next. Okay, this is the receiver dyna motor. Uh, nice little unit, 12 volt, fairly compact. You'll notice another homemade plug. I can't take credit for that one. That's a K2WI creation, and I want to thank him for that. And um, basically, I said it did power cable here, interface to the transmitter. Very simple, on off switch here, and uh, that powers the receiver only. There's a separate dynamotor for the transmitter. Uh, 12 volts in, and a variety of different voltages out. Uh, not just one. So it's a pretty neat little compact unit. So that's the receiver dynamo. Okay, this is the uh, EJ4 transmitter dynamo. Again, another homebrew plug. Uh, on off switch here. Uh, you can run the, this, uh, will run only the transmitter and it runs independent of the receiver. So you can run the receiver and Dyna motor, and then if you need to transmit, you can throw the switch on and that uh, fires up the transmitter. Again, a 12 volt unit, nice little handle up here, another very compact little uh, dyna motor unit, kind of neat. So, there are the two dyna motors that will be powering the uh, TBX6.